WeWork's fall from grace is one of the most well-known business stories in recent years, going from nearly a $50 billion valuation in 2019 to filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy last month. But it's a different story for competitor IWG, the owner of hybrid workspaces like Regis and Open Office. The company is hosting its first American Investor Day as its shares are down less than 10 percent this year. And my next guest says hybrid work is here to stay. Joining me now is Mark Dixon. He's the CEO of IWG. They're the largest hybrid workplace provider. Mark, welcome to you. Thank you very much for having me. Why the big transition with your company? You've got American Investor Day. You're going to start reporting in dollars. What, tell me about that. Well, it's the biggest part of our business is, is in the United States. It's um, about 60% of our revenues. It's our fastest growth market. We're growing at about 50% here in the U.S., and I think the change to hybrid working is happening much more quickly in the United States than any of the other countries we operate in. Well, that's interesting because we know the United States is different. A lot of other countries are more back to the office and here everyone's still at home. Why is that? Well, it's not, you know, the, the sort of narrative about back to the office and so on um, is, you know, people are back in offices, they're just not back in the CBDs. And where our growth is in the United States, and we, we operate in 120 countries around the world, is you know people want to work closer to where they live. And very often, that is in the suburbs, that is in rural locations, the places people that were, where people were commuting from are today's workplace. So you know the majority of our openings, about 90%, are actually not in CBDs, they're in rural and suburban locations. So there's, there's a marked shift, but people do, the good news is people do want to use offices. They just want to use them in different places. And that's really interesting. CBDs, of course, being central business districts. So really it's kind of a suburbs, rise of the suburbs type of story, especially given the population migration. You said you're growing 50% in the US. Can you tell us more about that? Because that seems extraordinarily high. Well, it's high because of demand. I mean, we've got demand from both sides of the equation here. So on the one hand, we've got American corporations that are changing rapidly. In today's economy, um, they are looking to save costs. And with hybrid working, you save about 50% of your cost, number one. Number two, it's a saving that will make your, your workers, your team happy because you're allowing them to work in a more flexible way. And, and it's also, if you are interested in the environment, and many companies are, it's very good for ESG. You know, we are carbon neutral as a company, that's IWG, and we can pass that on to our customers. So on the one hand, high demand for corporates, large and small. On the other hand, American investors in property, owners of property, are also very focused now on providing hybrid workspace as part of their offer. So we're expanding um, with them to create a platform across the US. Hmm. And um, you know we have unprecedented demand from investors also to sort of come onto our platform. And yeah. that's what's in the growth here. My understanding as well is that WeWork signed a lot of pricey leases and that bankruptcy would help them get out of those. Now, like you said, it might not solve the issue of them being more urban versus more suburban, but it seems to me that clearly hybrid workspace is in flux because even in town, I live in the suburbs and uh, we had a serendipity workspace that then became your third base, <laughs> whatever that is. So, you know, even out here in what should be a strong market based on the fundamentals you describe, it seems like there's a reset going on with hybrid work workspace more broadly? Well, look, this is, let me just sort of address that. This is not an easy business. You need, to, this is a highly operationally intensive business. You need to be good at it. And you need to operate very well and very efficiently. And some companies don't do that. So, you know, in this space, and I've been in this space for 34 years, and I started off with a single center every year from every one of those 34 years, we've become more efficient. So, in, you know, all, in order to be successful, you have to operate well. So the demand is there both from both sides of the equation, but you have to be able to um, operate the business at scale. Not everyone can do that.